Welcome. I'd like to just take this moment to, first of all, thank you. Thank those of you who have subscribed to Children of the Open Air, to thank those of you who've been singing with us with your children, and thank you for your patience as I try to figure out technology and have, you know, life delays and things like that. Um, this is definitely a labor of love, and I do the best I can, and I appreciate your patience with even how unprofessional these videos are, and I hope that they can be beneficial to you. And also, I owe a big, big thank you to my three kids because I really believe that they're the stars of the show <laughs> and um, that they make it just 10 times better um, with their wonderful personalities and with the way they participate so willingly. Okay, so I also wanted to just consider a few things as we move on to the next level. Now, we're homeschoolers, grade levels are not really a big deal, and that may be the case for you too, but I thought it might be helpful for, for some of you to know that um, I have things organized by playlists, and level A is roughly kindergarten preschool level. It's sort of like the foundational things that you need to have in place before we do more formal music learning. Level B is roughly first grade level. So as we get into level C, we are going to be doing more like about second grade level work, which means kids I'm expecting to be at least seven years old. Now they can definitely be older. My oldest son, he's, he's 10 now, um, and, and it's fine. I think if you get much older, if you get into like teenagers, it might be a little bit babyish. And so I don't expect them to just really enjoy this, but you know, just um, if you have kids who are a little bit older, it's really okay. But if you have kids that are younger, they may not be quite ready for what we're about to start working on on level C. We are gonna be doing more music notation. And we're gonna be working on a music staff and like they're gonna be drawing the notes and um, and so if you have a child who, you know, with copy work and handwriting, if, if this kind of a thing is going to give them trouble, then I would suggest that you either kind of hold back a little bit or that you make some modifications um, so that you can make this next level, level C, work for those children. Um, okay, the second thing I wanted to make sure I bring up, um, we are Charlotte Mason homeschoolers. And, and if you're not, I know many of you are, but if you're not, you are absolutely welcome to be here with us. Um, we, we really hope this is useful for as many families as possible. Um, but because we, um, we enjoy the wisdom that she shares and the philosophy behind what she suggests, then this is just one piece of the music program that she recommended for kids. So we have the solfege piece, but we also have hymns and folk songs, composer study, sometimes called music appreciation, where you know it's listening to pieces of classical music. And then the fifth piece is instrument, learning an instrument. Um, now I, on this, on this channel, I'm only focusing on one piece, <laughs> and that's solfege. But I hope that you will be considering doing some of those other pieces. Um, I think they're absolutely vital to a complete music education. Um, and so I wanted to especially discuss the instrument piece. About this time is when Charlotte Mason suggested that kids start learning piano. And so I would like to suggest that um, you give that some consideration. And so I've got, you know, our piano behind us. It is actually an electric piano. And the reason that I like this electric piano is because we've moved several times, and every time you move a piano, you have to get it tuned. But you don't have to tune electric pianos. They always stay in tune, you just plug them in. <laughs> and I really appreciate that. Um, this happens to be a Yamaha Clavinova, and we got it off of Craigslist. You can find them used for several hundred dollars. Um, and so I, you know, I know that that may be, you know, out of somebody's budget, but this may be the time of year you can start saving, start considering um, adding a piano in your home or even just a high quality keyboard. For it to work long term, you want it to have weighted keys so that when you're playing it, it feels like you're playing just a traditional piano. 
and if possible foot pedals. Um, okay, I also, for a piano program, many, maybe you have access to private lessons in your area with a teacher and that is absolutely wonderful. But if you don't, I would like to suggest that you check out Hoffman Academy. Um, they offer free video lessons online, similar to what I do, but um, Hoffman Academy is like absolutely professionally done. <laughs> um, and we've been using it for a little bit and my kids have really, really enjoyed those piano lessons with Mr. Hoffman. Um, he does have some materials for purchase and personally, I have not used those yet. We have only done free lessons and that has been adequate for us. Um, and so I wanted to put that out there that um, if, you know, p piano lessons for several children is not in your budget, there are some wonderful resources out there so that your children can start to learn an instrument. Now, another reason I wanted to recommend Hoffman Academy, and I'm not getting any sort of kickback for this. Um, this is just my own personal recommendation and it's what we are doing ourselves. Um, he uses the same rhythm system that I am using and he also uses a singing approach. So all the songs that the kids are learning, they're also learning how to sing and he's also using solfege. And so I just think this is fabulous. <laughs> um, so if you start working on some of his lessons, they will complement what we are doing here on Children of the Open Air very, very well. And your kids will not just learn, you know, music with their voices, but they'll also learn with an instrument. And you'll really see them grow and learn much more quickly, and they'll have some really wonderful skills that they can keep for the rest of their lives. Um, okay, so that's the main thing that I wanted to, to say. Um, if you do not do piano, maybe you already have your kids doing another instrument or you're just not able to do piano lessons right now, that's totally fine. You can absolutely continue on with us with our lessons and just focus on singing and sight singing. And, um, you know, you'll, your kids will still get what they need for those skills. Um, it's just something to consider if, if you have the means to um, help them to learn an instrument also there can be some wonderful benefits to that. Okay, thank you, and I look forward to seeing you in November where we're gonna start adding um, level C lessons. And again, as I said, that'll be for about ages seven and up. And we look forward to learning some more with you. Thank you.